Hi, uh, Pastor Rick here. Well, we are on the third week before Easter, and we're doing the third Sabbath before Passover, looking at the significance of the Sabbath of the red heifer. Now, a heifer is a cow, and a red heifer is a very significant cow in the Old Testament. It was a special sacrifice that's described in Numbers chapter 19, verses 1 through 22. And this sacrifice is commemorated on this special Sabbath before Passover. It's a very unique sacrifice um, because it's one in which the person who does it becomes ritually impure. The ashes of the red heifer are sprinkled after the sacrifice has been burned. And then... Uh, the person who receives those ashes, even though it's a dead animal, becomes cleansed. Now, the, the interesting thing about this, uh, this whole uh, mention of the, of the heifer is that there's a whole lot of parallels between that and Jesus. Uh, the sacrifice of Jesus, the Messiah on the cross, is a fulfillment of the symbolism of the red heifer. Uh, here's a couple of things. Both the red heifer and Jesus are entirely rare and without defect or, or sin. Uh, both of them uh, are sacrificed outside the camp. Both made the one who offered the sacrifices unclean, but made the one who was sprinkled by the sacrifice clean. And finally, both sacrifices cleanse people for priestly service. So very interesting how this has been led up uh, how it's been used uh, throughout yeah, history, really, uh, as, as one of those lead-ups to Passover and how it had such significance uh, in terms of what happened with Jesus. So as you think about this week, uh, think about the cleansing of sin. If uh, you participated in Ash Wednesday, where you put uh, the ashes on the forehead, that's a direct reference, actually, to this particular uh, ritual and, and symbol. So... Here it all is, tied together in the red heifer. <laughs>